Hello, this is Mr. Kent at MrKent.com. I am not a cat lover, but we had a cat come to our door a little over a year ago, and uh, it was starving, and we took it in, and that's the only cat in the world that I could say I loved if I really loved it. But it is a good cat, and so uh, we're keeping it, and uh, we really like it, and it seems to like me more than any other cat has ever liked me. I don't know why. But anyway, so we keep the cat box in this little bathroom so she can go in there and uh, use the cat litter uh, to do her business. And then we have a golden retriever. And uh, although the golden retriever is over six years old, she still acts like a golden retriever, uh, which means she acts like a puppy. So uh, when we're not around, the golden retriever likes to go in and, uh, well, you, you probably know if you have a dog, um, they like to eat the cat poop. Well, in the process of doing that, they get sick, but also they br she brings all pieces of everything out onto the floor. And I was going to uh, figure some way to keep the door shut partially when we leave the house, because that's the only time she gets in and tries to uh, eat the cat poop. So <clears throat> I was going to use all kinds of things, and my wife said, no, 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 I don't want that because that's ugly, and screw stuff to the wall, and uh, all kinds of things. And so I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and I came up with one solution, and uh, so I'll show you what that is. And, and uh, it's easy and quick, and nobody even hardly sees that it's there. So the first thing you do is you go in, and you unscrew this bottom screw just a little bit about so far and then you buy some kite string now kite string is about the strongest string you can buy for its size really it is uh, and this stuff I got I think at Walmart and so what you do is you cut off about oh four feet or a little shorter four feet uh, worth of string and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's the string. And that's about a four foot piece. And then what you do is you go over here and you wind counterclockwise two or three times around. Whoops, let's get it, get it on there. Okay, I think that's on there. And then you tighten it up. And it'll wind itself up tighter as uh, because you did it counterclockwise. Wise, it'll wind itself up tighter. You get that nice and snug. And now you've got a long piece and you've got a short piece. And the short piece you can cut off with scissors. This little short piece here, you can cut that off with scissors. We don't need that. But uh, when you're ready to leave and you don't want the dog to get in there, then you pull that door shut about that much and you take and you start wrapping the string around just keep wrapping it around until you got just a short piece left and now the dog can't open the door and the cat can the cat can get through the door but the dog can't and uh, we tried putting blocks behind it and everything and she would just push and then when you get home from wherever you've been then you just unwind the string and it hangs there and hard Hardly anybody notices it as they come in and go out. And that way you've got a way to keep the door shut when you're gone, just enough so the dog can't get in. And it's open just enough so the cat can. And everybody's happy, including my wife. So I want to thank you for watching.